Digital social innovation is essentially using technology for good, using it to tackle real-world social challenges, whether that's in the field of health, in the refugee and migration, or in the environment. Oh, it's important uh, for uh, many reasons, because it enables uh, new public services by citizens and for the citizens themselves. It enables, uh, for instance, new approaches to uh, preserve the environment, but it's important also for the economy. The Open Voice Factory is an open source project producing communication aids for people with speech disabilities. Communication is priceless, but there are families choosing between heat and food right now. So at the Open Voice Factory, we make the free open source communication aid. From anywhere in the world, two clicks from communication. Refugees is a social enterprise that's focused on empowering refugees with technology. What we do is we are creating a mobilized ecosystem of NGOs, of investors, refugees and volunteers to come together and start thinking about how they can use digital social innovation and deploy it in humanitarian aid to help refugees. In the future, we would like to see everyone who is working in humanitarian aid use technology as a tool that can empower and build on communities. Making Sense is a EU-funded project. It really is about how we can empower people with open source technology, data literacy, digital fabrication, so they can build sensors, they can capture environmental data, uh, they can make sense of that data, and they can start to tackle environmental concerns. So I think what's really exciting about digital social innovation is that it kind of shifts power um, from the established organisations to the hands of the people, whether that's through the community organisations that are sort of the intermediaries to get their voice heard, um, or whether it's uh, through maker movements and actually participatory democracy, all kinds of really interesting things. Digital social innovation is at the core of the digital strategy of Barcelona. For us, digital social innovation means to uh, build a smart city from the ground up together with citizens. So it's about developing, funding and deploying technologies which have citizen uh, needs and citizens' rights at its core. We are working on a variety of digital social innovation projects. One important one is the use of participatory democracy for the political decision making. And more than 40,000 citizens participated in, to write the um, government agenda of the city of Barcelona. There are a lot of projects in Amsterdam that, well, I would say would fall in the umbrella of DSI. Um, one of the examples I like is that nowadays uh, our citizens can connect directly via a few apps actually to the people at the street and make sure the cities are safe, so please, etc. I mean, what excites me about digital social innovation is that it's not only doing things a bit better, I mean it's about uh, uh, doing things differently. Over the next few years we're going to want to see more digital social innovation really operating at scale, more sustainable uh, funding models in place, more people from more diverse backgrounds using it to really kind of benefit them in their lives and communities. In order to make the most of digital social innovation across Europe, we need to invest in the digital skills and capabilities of our civil society. We also need to think about how we align and integrate better with public services. And that's going to mean that we have to get much better about evidence the impact of what we're doing.